right, what fun, what fun, what fun. Today we have in the Wolf Den a package from China. Zing Zhong Zhao from Zing Zhong Zhu, Zing Zhong. I'm not really good with these names. Let's say Zhao Dong Zhu. <clears throat> X U E Zhu. Tong He Road in Qing Dong, Shandong, China. So let's see what it is. I know what it is. Air mail. <coughs> Excuse me. About 10 to 12 days to get here, folks. This has been my newest eBay find. Here they come. They're all just loose. Just loose. And what are they? Micro jigs of the nicest quality. Micro jigs. Glow on the sides. Super reflective. And a little eye. These are about 20 grams, maybe half ounce, I think. Um, they keep always going by those grams, and I'm really not good at it. I have to constantly look it up on Google. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but what makes this little micro jig different than, say, a slab spoon is it's bumped out right here, and it slides up right here, and it's bumped out. So what that does is it gives, the way they make these, it's real flat on this side, sort of like a slab spoon would be. Flat, and then a slab spoon would be kind of boat-shaped on this side. Well, then they flatten it right here, and then they bump it out right here with some bevels in it. And that gives this downward, it would be like a, a downward, like this fall, like a minnow falling. Um, I've been kind of off to the side, not keeping y'all updated, anybody who's out there who's doing the micro jigging in the St. John's or at the Mayport Jetties or anywhere. Got these off of eBay. This is my third round with this company right here. I think I did um, a video prior on my first round with them. Uh, these people want to do business with you. They're not, I haven't been screwed by them or anything yet. I ordered like 12 of these. And what I've been doing is, is every time I get an order, which is, you know, 12 days later, I go back onto their eBay store and order like another 10 or 12. So I've done that and this is my third round with them. So now it's time to take this little jig and go over here and get in the old hook box and the swivels, okay, break out some of the open eye swivels and now it's time to Take this end where the eye is. Take an open eye swivel. And pop it on there just like that. Right? Take my little small crimpers. Drop it in there. Crimp it closed. Then... You got the swinging hook, and then I go in here, 
and I'm taking a 2 watt Mustad short shank live bait needle point hook. Sharper than all hell. Alright, this is how easy it is folks, and I hope everybody's got it if you're doing this. Mallet, screwdriver, let me point this down so you can see it a little bit better what I'm doing. Take the, take the screwdriver, put it in the groove of the eye. Always don't do this on your wife's kitchen table, folks. Don't try this at home, kitties. And take the other end of the hook swivel that's closed. And now re-pinch on that hook. And what do you have now? Sometimes you've got a little bit of like resin from the buildup of making the jig right in the eye. And you can kind of get rid of that. Okay. But essentially what you end up having is little micro butterfly jig. Right? You got yourself your, your little micro butterfly jig. And let me tell you something. This thing, you could literally, I almost hate to say this, you could almost literally throw away all jigs and soft plastics. Because I've got these down to, golly, eighth of an ounce or whatever. This is a trout killing little machine. Everything loves to eat it. Flounder. Vertical jigging, boop, 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 and it sh 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 comes on down. With all sizes of these, and of course I would tie off my, I would just tie off right there on the top of this. It doesn't get snagged that much. So, that's one of the installments here of the Slab Spooning Vertical Jigging, the St. John's River, Jacksonville, Florida. So that's a, uh. Handfuls of them, baby. Handfuls of them. And they're cheap. And the shipping is like either free or 50 cents. Then, let's see what else we got in today's mail. We ought to call this Mailbox Tuesday. I know what this is. And the funny thing is, is whenever you order anything from the state of California, and you're come and it's coming to Florida, it comes real fast, and I'll tell you why. Because it's coming on a goddamn airplane. All right. Looky, looky. Daiwa Custom Handles. Remember that other video I did? Daiwa Custom Handle. Why? You must say to yourself, why? Well, when I did that video, the last video, I did a video all about um, how to upgrade your reel. Take a crap reel. And make it better. Or just a reel that you feel needs some upgrading. Alright. Well, since then, I have purchased two more. Daiwa Ryoga. These are Ryoga 2020s. I don't know why they call it that. I don't know if it has anything to do with the size, 20 pound mono, but I've I now have two 2020s, a, tw uh, 
a 1016, and a 2025, which is the biggest that they build. Okay. And they are different. They're a little taller, a little beamier. There is a difference when you buy one of these, and there is ones down to 1012s. That's the little micro one. But there's the handle. Absolute superior quality in every way handle. Okay, look at the ball bearings on that son of a gun. It's aluminum, it's thick, it's strong, it's got, I don't mind these, I don't mind them, but that is so much better. That's an 80 millimeter handle, that's a 100 millimeter EVA foam ball bearing custom dial a handle. Okay, so the next thing I'll be doing is taking these two, see I got another one over here, Daiwa Ryoga, and I will be changing these handles out just like I did in my chain, my handle upgrade video. It'll take me about eh, five minutes, three minutes a piece to change these handles out, and then all of a sudden, this reel with this small handle, even though it is a beautiful handle, absolutely wonderful ball bearings in it and everything, but I could take these little smaller uh, handles here with the super nice ball bearings and everything and stick them in some other reel. Stick it on another reel that's like um, one of my little float rig fish and Daiwa reels. Okay, and I could upgrade the handle. So it's a constant upgrade, 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 upgrade. It's all about following up as I'm doing. Following up, keeping you on schedule. And upgrading. Follow up and upgrade, baby. That's what it's all about. So, there you go. From the Wolf Den. It is Mailbox Tuesday.